Um, I'm going to tell old man Kyle's story, the, the ones that I like to, to tell. And uh, so as he was walking along, he saw another smoke coming in from uh, near the river and uh, near some trees. And now he was careful. He, did, he didn't want to get into trouble. So he walked over there and, and looked and looked and, and he kept looking and scouting. And there was this one beautiful woman that was walk that was outside the teepee and she was uh, cooking and, and uh, doing things that women do. And it was a nice teepee, it was nice white and brand new and everything looked good. But old man Kyle was real careful now. And she kept, uh, kept looking and finally he decided to go and, and see what was going on. And uh, here this woman saw, saw old man Coyote and said, well, I, I'm glad you came today. Uh, most people avoid me. They don't want to talk to me. Uh, they don't come near me. And, uh, and old man Kyle said, why is that? You are a good looking woman and you have nice things and, and you're hospitable. And I don't know why they do this. And, uh, and the woman said, I don't know, but people don't come. And, and old man Kyle said, have you ever been married? And the woman said, yes, I have several, several husbands, but they always leave me. So now old man Coyote was, uh, 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 was curious. She wanted to know why they left her. And so uh, hanging around a little bit and said, if you want a husband, um, uh, I'll, I'll be your husband. We will live together and, and uh, I won't run away from you. I'll, I'll, if you keep me satisfied, I'll, I'll be here because I, I like everything that I see. And, and, uh, and uh, you live well, and, and you have good things. And so that woman did, said it, was, it would be good if they lived together. And so it became evening, and, and they finished their evening meal. And here old man Kyle was ready to go to bed. He jumped into the bed, and, and he kept saying, come, 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 let's go to bed. And the woman was doing her things, and, and he found out that he was getting ready to, to move. He got all his things to her things together, her all her uh, bedding and everything, and and here he, she took down the teepee, and took down the poles and piled the poles together, and, and tied the teepee on top of it and tied her belongings on top of it, and she said, Let, "It's time to move. Come on!" And here old man Kyle came and said, "Why are we moving in the in, at night? It's it's not correct. It's not right. We shouldn't." shouldn't move in, the, in that night. And he said, this is what I do. This is what I like to do. I, I move at night and then uh, I camp in the daytime. So, and he said, come on, get behind me. And oh, oh my man Kyle was, uh, was, was scared and was kind of reluctant, but he went in and she said, the woman said, grab onto me and hold fast because we're going to move fast. And here suddenly the, the TB poles and everything moved up in the air and it went so fast that uh, old man Kyle uh, didn't know what to do. He just kept on and closed his eyes. And, and then uh, they went up real high, went up to the moon, and then came down real fast again. And old man Kyle was yelling and screaming and, and holding on to, to the woman. And here his hair was flying and his clothes was flying. And, and he went down into the cottons, the cottonwoods, and they went among the cottonwood and here cottonwood, the limbs were scratching his face and tearing his hair. And he, they went along, and finally they came to some wild plum bushes, and and the thorns cut his his clothes and and, and scratched him up, and and now uh, he was so scared he didn't know what to do. And then then they went through some rose bushes, and the same thing happened. And then they finally landed, and here old man Coyote uh, was exhausted, and he was all clothes was all torn up, and his face was bleeding, and his hair was all torn up. And he said, uh, uh, and it was daytime, the sun was shining, the sun was starting to shine. And he said, why do you do this? Why do you move at night? And the woman said, I like to move. That's why, that's why my, my husbands leave me all the time. And old man Kyle settled down and the woman started to cook. And the woman started to cook. And uh, they were in the daytime. And no man Kyle wanted to rest and sleep, but the man, woman said, no, no, you, you get busy. You're, you're, you're my husband. It's your job to do things. Go get some firewood. Go, go out hunting. Go find some deer or a buffalo or elk. 
And every time an old man coyote wanted to sit down, she said, she told her, she told him what to do. He said, you go and do this and that. And finally it was, it was getting evening again. Now old man coyote was happy. She said, now I'll get some sleep or go to bed. And he wasn't even thinking about his lust anymore for the woman. Here, I just wanted to sleep. And here, he went inside the teepee and was getting ready to go to bed. And here, and here he heard some noises and, and then uh, he, he realized that she was getting ready to move again. She got her, her, uh, her baggage ready, her all everything ready. And then she took down the teepee and put the teepee poles on and and uh, his, an old man coyote was uh, was ready to run away. And she said, he, you come on behind me and, and hold on to me. We're going to move. And, and uh, she said, it'll be daylight soon. So we we don't have much time. Get behind me. And here the same thing happened again. They went uh, in the moon. And now an old man coyote was screaming. He knew what was going on. He was screaming and holding on to, 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 to her. And, and here uh, he was all torn up. Now all his clothes were were in rags. So in the daytime, uh, <clears throat> in the daytime, they they landed again. And so she put up her teepee, and uh, old man Kyle was so tired that he couldn't stand anymore. The woman was doing her chores and told him what to do again. He go this way and do that. So he went to when he he said, "I'll go get some firewood," but he went to see to see some ash trees that were growing nearby and he said elder brother I'm afraid I, I have this woman and she likes to move every day and and I'm getting tired and, and I can't run away she keeps watching me can't get away elder brother when tonight when we fly by I want you to catch me and hold on to me so that I can get away from her and so he went back and again and it was evening when they when they were when they were leaving and uh, old man Kyle said, why do you do these things? Why do you move at night? And the woman said, I'm a ghost woman. That's why I do these things. Now you're married to me and you're stuck with me. And then they went up in the air. And uh, old man Kyle said, go through those ash trees. Go through those ash trees. And here the woman went through the ash trees. And, and he said, elder brother, hold on to me. I can't stand this anymore. Hold on to me. I have to get away from this woman. And so the, the ash trees got, grabbed him and and he got away from the from the ghost woman, and uh, and so now uh, old man old man coyote was in trouble again over women. The ghost woman left, and she got off and thanked the ash trees again, and then and then uh, went to sleep. And then when he woke up, it was daytime, so he was walking along again. Now he didn't want to see anybody. He didn't want to even see any women. And then he was walking along, and, and then uh, he came to a lake. And here he wanted to see what his face looked like. It was all scratched up, and he wanted to fix his hair. So he went to the lake and washed his hair and, and uh, kind of straightened himself a little bit and combed his hair and looked down, and, and he couldn't see his hind end. He could only see his chest. He couldn't see his, his rear end. So he looked around, and, and then he said, I know what I'll do. I'll call all the male animals in the world because they always go around. And he, and he called all the males together and he said, and I want you to go out and look for my hind end, for my rear end. And so all the animals went, and even today they're still looking for rear ends, for hind ends. <laughs>